ओम ज्ञान तिमिनंदस्य ज्ञानंजना शलाकय चक्षुर मिलितम येन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्टम स्थापितम येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा महिम ददाति स्वपदार्थिकम वन्दे हम श्री गुरु श्री युतापद कमलम श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश्च श्री रूपम सागरजातम सहगण रघुनाथान्वितम तम सजीवम साधुवैतम सावधूतम परिजन सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सहगण ललित श्री विशाखान्वितम च हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचना गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्व भानुसुते देवी प्रणमामी हरि प्रिय वंशकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु एव पतिता नाम पावनेभ्य वैष्णवेभ्य नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंगायती गिरी यदृपा तम अहम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर so first 10 15 minutes we will discuss on one of the song one of the vaishnav bhajan it is by krishna das kaviraj goswami these are eight verses glorifying shrimati radha rani so it's called shri radhika ashtakam there are many <coughs> at least three radhika ashtaka three radhika ashtakam um, one is written by rupa goswami glorifying shrimati radha rani then many prayers to shrimati radha rani so um we will just discuss one but at some point of time you can go through them there is one prayer by shri rupa goswami then there is one prayer by ragunath das goswami it's also called radhika ashtakam and then there is one by krishna kaviraj goswami we will discuss the version of krishna kaviraj goswami today like just 10 15 minutes and then we go back to chitan charitamrita then there is also prayers by lord shiva um uh, uh, yeah prayers by lord shiva also are there there are 13 verses glorifying um um the side long glance of shrimati radha rani um by lord shiva so likewise there are many so today now there is a book um called um, govinda lila amrita which was written by krishna's kaviraj goswami actually when he wrote that book the devotees went into ecstasy after reading that it is said that anybody who even even the stones melted when they read uh, govinda lila amrita it contains the basically krishna lila in a very intimate way um so eight verses are taken from that book and they are they became famous as radhika ashtakam so we will discuss those um i will not play any instruments but just just say the meter and then discuss kunkumat ka kanchana jagarva hari gaurabha राधिकाशन effulgence always so it's splendorous um, very very bright um, golden complexion steals the pride of a golden lotus flower um, so we don't uh, um, we we don't see golden lotus flower there are many lotuses that go, that grows in goloka but only very few grows here so um, that golden lotus flower is very bright but um so 
it's like the flower is very proud of its bright color but the brightest the splendorous golden complexion shrimati radha rani puts that golden lotus flower into shame anointed with that tinge of red kumkum vermilion uh, um, she put kumkum on her face uh, like ladies and this golden lotus flower also has a red 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 in the center her um, sweet fragrance mocks the fame of the aroma of lotus flower sprinkled with saffron powder um um shrimati radha rani has a natural fragrance likewise shri krishna has a natural fragrance now um if you see uh, in this material world uh, people smells bad about um in the spiritual realm in the spiritual realm it is said that um, when radha rani um breathes so all the fragrances comes out like fine powders and anybody who like when krishna smells the breath of radha rani he goes into ecstasy um and um, their bodies have natural fragrance like a guru or um sandalwood so radha rani is natural fragrance one of the one of the natural fragrance of radha rani is sandalwood um so her uh um so her sweet fragrances mocks the fame of the aroma of a lotus flower sprinkled with saffron powder she is fully qualified to fulfill all the desires of the son of the king of cowherd man which is nanda nandana um um she is the only one who can actually fulfill all of krishna's desire may she radhika this is how every line ends may she radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet mayam atma pada padma dasya dastu radhika kauravinda kanti nindi chitra patta satika कृष्ण मत भृंग केली फुल पुष्प वाटिका कृष्ण नित्य संग मार्थ पद्म बंधु राधिका मय्यम आत्मा पाद पद्म दास्य दास्तु राधिका हर अमेजिंग एंड कलरफुल सिल्क एंड गार्मेंट्स मेक द स्प्लेंडर ऑफ रेड कोरल फील अशेम्ड सो शी वेयर्स मेनी डिफरेंट इन दिस पिक्चर शी इज वेरिंग रेड so red coral feel ashamed because of her silken garments um one of her favorite color is also deep blue because it reminds her of krishna then she is a garden of blossoming flowers where the maddened bumblebee named krishna performs amorous pastimes so just like Uh, bumblebee now bumblebee is blackish in color so um, krishna is also compared to bumblebee that's why one of the name of krishna is madhusudan also um, now the bumblebee um, goes into um, different flowers and takes nectar likewise shri krishna has many amorous pastimes um, um, but one who can one who can fully satisfy shri krishna shrimati radha rani so she is the garden of blossoming flowers means he is always satisfied in his amorous pastimes in the presence of shrimati radhika she worships the sun god daily now um, okay she worships the sun god daily in order to attain the continual association of her beloved krishna um, now we know shrimati radhika is uh, um, married to abhimanyu with her in laws jatila and kotila and in the pretext of worshiping sun god she goes out of the home every day and just to associate with um, the son of uh, nanda maharaj and whenever she goes to worship sun god um, she worships uh, actually it is described by our teachers that sun god is actually a devotee of shrimati radha rani um, but um, she 
um, worships and what she asks is continual association of Sri Krishna. May Sri Radhika bestow upon me, upon us, the service of her own lotus feet. Saukumarya Shishta Pallavali Kirti Nigraha Chandra Chanda Notpalendu Sevya Sita Vigraha Swabhi Marsha Pallavisha Kama Tapa Badhika Maya Matma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Radhika Her charming youthful delicacy negates the fame of the freshly sprouted leaves like um, some of the leaves like you know especially very new leaves just budding so they are very delicate so the delicacy of Srimati Radharani defeats the delicacy of the youthful delicacy so Radharani is not fully grown at the same time she is not in childhood so she is in her budding budding youth so around 14 years 7 months um, her refreshing form is worthy of being served by the cooling moon, sandalwood paste, lotus flower, and camphor. Um, um, so she is worthy of being worshipped by um, through the moonlight, sandalwood paste, camphor, and lotus flowers. When she touches the master of the gopis, the master of gopis is Sri Krishna. So when she, uh, Gopi Janavallava, one of his names. So when she touches the master of the gopis, she dispels the burning heat of his lusty desires. Of course, this is pure love. Swabhi Masa Balla Visha Kama Tapa Badika. So Srila um, Prabhupada, at one point of time, Srila Prabhupada said, uh, Krishna is infinitely lusty. This is like, uh, you know, because... Um, um, she is his Haladini Shakti. We know Krishna has Samvit potency, Sandhini potency and Haladini potency. So Haladini potency, Srimati Radharani. So Prabhupada used to say that um, um, we all derive pleasure by chanting Krishna's name. Um, but Krishna derives his pleasure in the association of Srimati Radharani. So how great is Srimati Radharani? That everyone is worshipping Sri Krishna and Krishna himself worships Srimati Radharani. That makes us bow down to Srimati Radharani, Prabhupada used to say. So she is the only one. Um, um, when she touches um, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna is dispelled the burning heat of his lusty desires. May Sri Radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet. Vishwa Vandya Yauvata Bhivandita Piyarama Rupa Navya Yauvana Di Sampadana Yatsama Shila Harda Lila Yacha Sayato Stinadika Maya Matma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Radhika Although the goddess of fortune Lakshmi Devi is adorned by other youthful goddesses who are themselves glorified throughout the universe. Still, she is nowhere near Sri Radhika in the matter of beauty, praiseworthy youthfulness, or other divine opulences. The feminine gesture of Srimati Radhika way surpasses Lakshmi Devi. The beauty of Sri Radhika way surpasses Lakshmi Devi. The youthfulness of Sri Radhika may way surpasses Lakshmi Devi. Nowhere they can be compared. Um, um, whether it is the other gopis of Raja, whether it is um, the queens of Dwarka, whether it is Lakshmi's or um, <laughs> there is a prayer by Lord Shiva. Um, um, and, um, okay, I forgot. Which says like um, the goddess Parvati um, Saraswati, Lakshmi, they all um, worship Srimati Radharani. Um, and whatever um, blessings one can receive from Lakshmi, Parvati, Durga, and everyone, um, by the toenails of Srimati Radharani, one can one can get all the all such blessings. So she is the source. Krishna's Kavinaj Goswami explains 
just like when Krishna expands, she expands. So every all opulence comes from her. Mm. There is no one in the material or the spiritual world that is superior to Radhika in the expression of natural loving pastimes. But she but Shrimati Radhika is a gopi. So she is a cowherd girl. Now they they are all opulence. <clears throat> Lakshmi Devi, Durga Devi, Saraswati, they are opulence. But although Shrimati Radhika is a source, she is simply a cowherd girl who lives in a, uh, a village without showing any opulence. But she is always, she is always uh, absorbed in the loving pastimes with Shinanda Nandana. And she has no nothing else to do other than um, loving Shri Krishna and giving pleasure to Shri Krishna. So there is no one in the material or spiritual world that is superior to Radhika in the expression of naturally loving pastimes. May Shri Radhika bestow upon me the service of her lotus feet. That's why you see in Goloka the sweetness is uh, exemplified. Uh, Rasalasya Gita Narma Satkalali Pandita Prima Ramya Rupa Vesha Sadgunali Mandita Vishwanavya Gopa Yoshidalita Piyadika Maya Matma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Radhika She is very learned in many transcendental arts such as performing in Rasa dance singing and joking so she is expert it is said that uh, uh, rasa dance is dancing pastimes of shri krishna um, intimate pastimes of shri krishna um, rasa dance cannot begin or cannot take place without Srimati radharani she is the one who initiates and she is the one who um, like who is the center she stays in the center all the time we know this so she's very learned like there are um, um, many qualities and Srimati Radharani is expert and then she's expert in singing she's also expert in playing musical instruments uh, she plays veena it's her personal instrument just like Krishna plays flute she plays veena um, singing um, rasa dance is accompanied by singing just like sankirtan just like we sing um, likewise they also sing and creates a very high spiritual symphony uh, surrounding just like um, Shla Prabhupada used to compare um, Mahaprabhu's nightly kirtans as or Mahaprabhu dancing in front of Jagannath as Ras Lila because it is the same expression. There is singing and there is dancing. And there is very high spiritual energy. That's what happens there. So she's expert. Um, very learned in all these transcendental arts. Singing and joking. Um, she is decorated with many divine qualities. Such as loving nature. She is very soft by nature. We know the story of a jackal. Who was suffering and Lalita brought um, him there. And uh, she gave him the position of a manjiri. Uh, uh, she cannot hear anyone's cries. Um, her heart is very soft. And she is very eager to reciprocate. We see um, during when Rupa Goswami was preparing, um, uh, wanted to celebrate the birthday of his elder brother, Sanatan Goswami. She came and she gave... Um, the rice and sugar and milk and she personally cooked to serve his devotee. She is very caring of all those who take shelter of him. We see uh, Duki Krishna Das when he was doing humble menial service of sweeping. Um, um, she called him, um, she gave him the mercy to find her own um, anklet and then she called him and gave him her own service and gave him the name Shamananda Pandit. Likewise, um, um, she appeared, she, um, uh, many, many loving exchanges with um, Raghunath Das Goswami and uh, um, um, many of our previous Acharyas and Goswamis. So she's very caring to her servants. 
her servants and her sakis her friends so um she is decorated with many divine qualities such as loving nature exquisite beauty extremely beautiful extremely beautiful um, and wonderful garments and ornaments she is expert at dressing she, there is there is nobody like her in any of the qualities um, and krishna is also very expert in dressing uh, and krishna actually braids the hairs of shrimati radharani on many occasions so wonderful garland garments and ornaments and she's expert in making garlands also so she's expert all she's expert in is she's expert in giving pleasure to shri krishna um, and her loving servants and she is um, very compassionate karuna kuru mai karuna bharite sanaka sanathana varnita charite radhe radhe jaya jaya madhav daite even among the cowherd damsels of raja who are praised by the entire universe she is the best in every way whether it is lalita vishaka um or any other gopis uh, she is the best in every way may she radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet nitya navya roopa ke li krishna bhava sampada krishna raga bandha gopa yavate shu kampada krishna roopa vesha ke li lagna sat samadhika यूथफुल ब्यूटी her ecstatic feelings of love for krishna cause the gopis who are also in love with krishna to tremble just by seeing her just by seeing her um ecstasy all the gopis go into ecstasy and they are shocked how much how can somebody has such love for shri krishna last week we were discussing during the end of our discussion when shri krishna left um um the ras leela because uh, radharani was radharani went into man and when she saw that krishna is very freely um um taking the association of other gopis she went into man and then she left and then krishna also left because a rasleela cannot take place without shrimati radharani she is in the center so krishna krishna also left and then we were discussing um 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 at some point of time when they walked together and um, all the other gopis they were distressed to see um, that uh, krishna is no more there so they started asking um, the trees and the clouds and the dust of vrindavan and the creepers um, and the monkeys that uh, have you seen krishna where has he gone have you seen krishna so they were following they were trying then finally they came they came across the footsteps of shri krishna but along with footsteps of shri krishna there was also footsteps of the of another gopi so they understood that anaradhita nuna this particular gopi has perfectly worshiped krishna and that's why krishna left all of us just to be with this one gopi and then krishna went and at some point of time um 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 krishna asked um, um krishna asked shrimati radharani that um, um where should we go now um, um should we go to akunja should we go on the on the bank where where i can braid your hairs um or should we go to another forest nearby where should we go 
and uh, uh, Radha told Krishna, I'm, I'm too tired. You can take me wherever uh, you want, um, but you are a coward boy. You you walk a lot, but I'm very tired. I cannot go anywhere. Then um, uh, Krishna said, okay, then I will, um, I will lift you up and then uh, I will take you. And then um, as soon as he lifted her, Krishna disappeared. And then as soon as Krishna disappeared, Radharani went into a lot of distress. And then she started, uh, um, immediately she started crying, lamenting, why did I say Krishna that? I displeased Krishna. And uh, she exhibited all the eight symptoms of ecstasy. And when the other gopis, they came and when they saw Radharani crying like this, then they were shocked to see the ecstasy of Srimati Radharani. So, um, um, had ecstatic feeling of love, um, um, had ecstatic feeling of love for Krishna caused the go gopis who are also in love with Krishna to tremble. Um, so when anybody sees the, uh, the um, ecstatic symptom exhibited by Srimati Radharani, they are shocked. And uh, that's why everyone supports to bring Radha and Krishna together. She is always attached to meditating on Sri Krishna's beautiful form, ornaments, garments, and pastimes. She is always meditating. Maybe downstairs. May Sri Radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet. Shweda Kampa Kantakashru Gadgadadi Sanchita Marsha Harsha Vamata di Bhava Bhusha Nanchita Krishna Nitra Toshi Ratna Mandana Lidadika Maya Matma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Radhika. She is graced with eight ecstatic symptoms Satvik Bhav, such as trembling, perspiring, standing up on bodily hairs, tears, faltering of the voice, and so forth. Whenever there is separation or even when there is union, she exhibits ecstatic symptoms. She is adorned with different ecstatic emotional ornaments, such as impatience. Um, whenever there is a time for her to meet Krishna, Krishna doesn't show up, she becomes really impatient. So she has all different varieties of qualities. And when Krishna comes late, he is very upset. So she has impatience, joy, contrariness. She is she's, um, mad in love with Krishna. Um, but when Krishna comes, then she doesn't talk straight. And uh, she imposes a lot of obstacles to see Krishna. So this is contrary, contrary behavior. She loves him so much at the same time. When he's there, she avoids him just to increase the loving relationship. So just impatience, joy, and contrariness, and so forth. She is decorated with beautiful jewels that give total delight to the eyes of Krishna. May she Radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet. Yasanardha Krishna Vipra Yoga Santa Dodita Neka Dainya Chapaladi Bhava Vrinda Modita Yatna Labdha Krishna Sangha Nigrata Kinadika Maya Matma Pada Padma Dasya Dastu Radhika. If she is apart from Krishna for even half a moment, she becomes stricken with wretched suffering, restlessness, and a multitude of other ecstatic symptoms of separation. Um, she Jatane Mahaprabhu prayed. Yoga itam nimishina, chakshusha pravisha itam, shunya itam, jagasarvam, govinda virahinami. So, in stage of pure love, um, um, one moment of separation is like uh, 12 years or more. We cannot, we cannot understand that. Why we need to have that much love and that much attachment to Krishna to be able to realize this verse. That's why this is a verse on the stage of bhava and prema. When 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 is imbued with that much uh, loving attraction that comes by cultivation we are trying to cultivate to spiritualize ourselves to get to that stage 
so half a moment of separation um, 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 and she becomes stricken with wretched suffering like like wretched suffering yes uh, so see in this material world i mean um, 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 there is there is no experience of such love and such attraction there may be some cries here and there and then we forget people leave the body and then our loved and near and dear ones and then we think once in a while but this love of goloka is just beyond our imagination i mean they just met half an hour back few minutes back and then as soon as they are separated then shrimati radhika goes into wretched suffering cannot cannot focus on anything um tries to take rest cannot sleep uh, um constantly haunted with the, um um with that intense separation um sweating perspiring um her friends try to alleviate her suffering but she just walks here and there she just becomes completely impatient a moment i mean just and then just few minutes back they were together and in some time they will meet again but then there is like constant suffering and then krishna plays his plays his flute and then she hears the flute song and she becomes pacified and then she starts meditating so how she alleviates her suffering in separation from krishna is constantly hearing about krishna remembering how krishna remembering her dealings loving dealings with krishna in the past previous day few hours back or glorifying krishna krishna did this or somehow um uh, um hearing about krishna um helps um helps her and shri prabhupada also said in one of the purport in chaitanya charitamrita that those who are feeling separation from krishna they can uh, um read and hear about krishna to alleviate their suffering from separation from krishna now this is a pure devotee and uh, it's just an imagination it just we cannot imagine um um the feelings and the suffering she goes through if if she is separated from krishna for a moment but the nature of braja is there is um vipralamba and there is samdhik vipralamba is there is separation and then there is milan and then again separation and then there is milan milan means sambhog sambhog means uniting together and then again there is separation so these are the ways of vrindavan so she, she becomes stricken with wretched suffering restlessness just cannot tolerate uh, she is very patient when uh, when she is with him but um, she is very restless there are all contradictory qualities that exhibit in them um prabhupa says all contradiction comes from krishna uh, and a multitude of other ecstatic symptoms of separation when she regains the association of krishna after some effort then all her anguish immediately vanishes and she again becomes very sober peaceful joyful ecstatic happy and then again and then again so these are the ways of vinda uh, may she radhika bestow upon me the service of her own lotus feet okay so that's a small prayer there are many many prayers glorifying i thought since radhashmi uh, something about it now we'll go back to uh, madhyalila okay so <clears throat> we are discussing the very intimate conversation between sri chitanya mahaprabhu and ramananda roy that is happening in a secluded place where sri chitanya mahaprabhu began by asking ramananda roy that what is the purpose of life and ramananda roy first gave many external reasons like varnashram surrender um, um abandoning varnashram 
ज्ञान एंड मेनी डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड एवरी टाइम श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु से एक ओ भाइया आगे कहा आर दिस एक्सटर्नल टेल मी समथिंग गो डीपर रामानंद राय गो डीपर एंड देन फाइनली रामानंद राय सेड वेल लव ऑफ गॉड दैट इज अ गोल ऑफ लाइफ देन महाप्रभु सेड ओके दैट इज गुड नाउ गो लिटिल फर्दर देन ही सेड टू बिकम अ सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्णा एट एन द सर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्णा दास से रस दैट इज अ गोल ऑफ लाइफ देन महाप्रभु सेड ओके नाउ गो लिटिल फर्दर एंड देन ही सेड एक्चुअली टू बिकम अ फ्रेंड ऑफ कृष्णा and to participate when krishna goes for gocharan leela krishna heard the cows um krishna takes his lunch krishna plays so many games and participate in loving dealings with krishna in that relationship and chaitanya mahaprabhu said this is very nice go a little further and then um he says uh, well the goal of life is um um to act like a krishna superior like mother yashoda and lull him and um, um you know all loving dealings just like a mother uh, or just like a father with shri krishna so jaden mahaprabhu became very happy he said now this is very nice go ahead um um say, say go for the say little more and the ramananda roy said uh, the mood of gopis um madhurya ras and uh, they are their loving pastimes with shri krishna that is the goal of life and mahaprabhu became ecstatic mahaprabhu said this is wonderful uh, tell me something more um, and then ramananda roy said well nobody has asked me uh, so far uh, to go beyond this point and then um, um, ramananda roy said to become a follower of shrimati radharani um, among all there are unlimited gopis but among them shrimati radharani and uh, become a follower of shrimati radharani that is the goal of life and uh, then this is where the conversation came to the point um prabhu kahe aage kaha sunite pai sukhe apurva amrita nadi vahe tumara mukhe lord chaitanya mahaprabhu said please speak on i am very happy to hear you because a river of unprecedented nectar is flowing from your mouth so when chaitanya mahaprabhu came to this point Uh, ramandar when the conversation came to this point of glorifying shrimati radharani and her devotion to shri krishna then chaitanya mahaprabhu said like nectar is flowing from your mouth so please do not stop keep going on churi kari radha ke nila gopi ganera dare anya apeksha haila premera gada tanas phure during the ras dance shri krishna did not exchange loving affairs with shrimati radharani due to the presence of other gopis because of the dependence of the others the intensity of love between radha and krishna was not manifest therefore he stole her away now uh, these are the daily pastimes of the lord um and there are um there is rasa dance and there is also maharas maharas uh, um um so um, because there are many now um, it was shrimati radharani's desire to give more and more pleasure to krishna now krishna derives his pleasure only through shrimati radharani and all the gopis are actually expansions of shrimati radharani but they are all um um although they are expansions of her they all have their independent free will just like we we are all um jira jivera swarup hai krishna nitya das we are part and parcel of krishna but we have independence also and we have free will although we are part and parcel of krishna so by default we are servant of krishna yet we have free will likewise um all the gopis there are expansion shrimati radharani but they have their own part and parcel and um, uh, shri krishna enjoys only through his haladini shakti shrimati radharani um now when um when shri krishna was with her in in presence of all the other gopis he could not become natural because some of the gopis have competitive mood with shrimati radharani um 
so then so there was some hesitation so that's why she krishna stole her and left the rasa dance um, uh, so that also shows the superior position of shrimati radharani compared to everyone else in in the land of raja radha lagi gopi re yadi sakshat kare tyag tabe jani radha ya krishna ra gada anurag if lord krishna rejected the company of the other gopis for shrimati radharani we can understand that lord krishna has intense affection for her so ramanand roy is um, like just for somebody who doesn't know who thinks that there are um, um lakshmi sahasa satasam brahma sevya manav govinda madi purusham tamaham bhajami a common man may think lakshmi the lakshmi in brahma samhita actually refers to gopis lakshmi sahasra sahasra means thousands lakshmi sahasa satasam brahma sevya manav sevya manav means shri krishna is served by millions of gopis millions of gopis in golokvindavan that's what it says lakshmi sahasra satasam brahma sevya manav govinda madi purusham tamaham bhajami govinda is the original purusha purusha means enjoy tamaham bhajami so therefore i worship his lotus feet so for those who are not clear on tattva um ramananda roy is giving um examples from shrimad bhagavatam and the activities how among all shrimati radharani is dear most to shri krishna one time i went to um, i was in i mean just three months back i was in vrindavan so i was i stayed i think three days in radha damodar mandir um that is the place um shri prabhupad used to stay for he stayed for 10 12 years so uh, somebody knew the uh, uh, the head of radha damodar mandir and they helped me to arrange a stay there so just behind radha damodar mandir um there are two temples of krishna and mirabai so uh, now you cannot wear specs there because the monkeys will come and take your specs and uh, i had the map with me but there are so many temples just next 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 to each other so i was just exploring there are many beautiful places there nidhivan is there seva kunj is there these are the two main forest and there are so many temples the six the temples of the six goswamis is there radha vinod um radha govind dev um and there are um, many temples so two temples just next to each other is krishna and mirabai so i went there and the pujari was very old like uh, 80 years old so he saw me and then he said prabhupad prabhupad i said yes prabhupad he said i used to play uh, when prabhupad used to live here i was only 12 years old that time and prabhupad would come to this temple and uh, sometimes um, he would take prasadam here and uh, he would give me uh, some prasadam we would take prasadam together i am born and brought up here so i used to play uh, here and he used to come and he used to talk with my father who was a pujari and the pujari and their son becomes temple pujari and likewise this tradition goes on in raja so i asked him that uh, here krishna and mirabai is worshiped so um what is the difference between mirabai and radharani so you know like out of curiosity i mean we know prabhupada has given us in the purport but i asked him uh, then he said well radharani is krishna himself there is no difference so um and ekat manav api puri pura deha getam gatau to um uh, so they are they are one soul and two bodies radha and krishna same self supreme personality of god and mira bai he said is um one of the living entity um who has love for krishna so krishna and devotee and krishna and, and the supreme personality of god in female form so um no matter where you go in raja no matter who is worship everyone is very clear with the tattva of radha and krishna um, at least from tattva point of view 
so lord krishna rejected the company of every all the other gopis for shrimati radharani so we can understand that lord krishna has intense affection for her. actually nobody gives pleasure to shri krishna other than her and um, 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 she can enjoy with others only radharani wants because she is she is the source <coughs> raya raya kahe tabe sona premera mahima tri jagate radha premera nahika upama ramanda roy continued please therefore hear from me about the glories of shrimati radha rani's loving affairs they are beyond compare within these three words the um, radha krishna pranaya mahima um, haladini shakti rashmat um, so the loving affairs the glories of the loving affairs of radha and krishna is <coughs> beyond imagination is beyond the activities of this material world um, and it is very intense and it is very deep so ramanand roy said now hear about um, uh, the glories of radha rani's love i mean imagine the glories of radha rani's love is so high even krishna cannot understand it even krishna is like how can somebody love me like that um, i mean he he relishes past tense with mother yashoda with the, with the gopas with the servants with the cows um but shrimati radha rani has no other thought cannot do anything she is completely restless when she is away from krishna so it is said krishna himself says that um, your love for me is millions of i mean um 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 i am the source of all love but your love for me is millions of times greater and you derive millions of times greater pleasure in my presence than i derive in your pleasure so the mind of Sri Krishna Chandra raised to taste the pleasure. You know, he's Rasa Raj, enjoyer. So his mind raised to taste the pleasure that she tasted in Sambhog and Vipralamba. So even Sri Krishna cannot understand uh, how much she loves him. That's why he came to taste that love as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gopi Ganela Rasa Nitya Mandali Chadiya Radha Chahi Vane Fire. Vilapakariya, finding herself treated equally with all the other gopis, Shrimati Radha Rani displayed her tricky behavior and left the circle of um, Rasa dance. Missing Shrimati Radha Rani's presence, Krishna became very unhappy and began to lament and wander throughout the forest to search her out. So it is said that he was in the center, yet he expanded between every two gopis. and he was able to um, um enjoy their presence um as long as shrimati radha rani was there and um, um but because there is everybody else the love could not be so intimate so radha understood that krishna cannot fully um taste because um um and the pleasure her association because of the presence of everyone so there is an external reason there is an internal reason internal reason always remains the same internal reason is to increase krishna's pleasure external reason is man 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 lila man means he became angry why is she krishna with everybody else and she is not giving much attention so this is external reason internal reason is she knows that krishna cannot be happy um, um without him because she is haladini shakti of krishna and she knows that so she left just to increase krishna's pleasure and krishna became very much disturbed i mean imagine the devotees when we are meditating in our chanting of holy names on krishna and if we are not able to meditate on krishna become very much disturbed <laughs> oh krishna is not there today japa is too empty i cannot i could not focus um so when krishna goes to become disturbed imagine when radharani goes away krishna becomes disturbed so that is her position so he went out to the forest to search for her i mean when krishna left all the gopis started searching for krishna and krishna is searching in the forest for shrimati radha rani so that shows um, the position of shrimati radha rani kaam sari api samsara vasana baddha shrinkhala 
राधाम आधाय हृदय तत्याज व्यज सुंदरी लॉर्ड कृष्ण द एनिमी ऑफ कमसा टुक श्रीमती राधा रानी विद इन हिज हार्ट फॉर ही डिजायर टू डांस विद हर दस ही लेफ्ट द एरिना ऑफ द रासा डांस एंड द कंपनी ऑफ ऑल द अदर ब्यूटिफुल डांसर्स ऑफ राजा सो नथिंग इज प्रेजर टू कृष्ण नो अदर गोपी गिव प्रेजर टू कृष्ण इफ समी थिंक्स आई कैन गिव प्रेजर टू कृष्ण दैट्स नॉट ट्रू एक्चुअली only shrimati radha rani is qualified to give pleasure to krishna and we can give pleasure to krishna only if we approach shri krishna through shrimati radha rani if we try to serve shrimati radha rani that gives pleasure to krishna we cannot give any pleasure to krishna <coughs> itas tatastam anushitya radhikam ananga bana vrana khinda manasa kritanu tapa sa kalinda nandini tatanta kunje विशसाद माधव बींग एफेक्टेड बाय द एरोज ऑफ क्यूपिड हेयर क्यूपिड रेफर्स टू क्यूपिड देर इज नो इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ क्यूपिड ऑन कृष्णा कृष्णा सन अनिरुद्ध इज एक्चुअली क्यूपिड बट वेन इट्स इज द एर ऑफ क्यूपिड इट्स अ लैंग्वेज यूज टू एक्सप्रेस टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णास फीलिंग that he was feeling separation so that for for to express that feeling this language is used being affected by the error of cupid and unhappily regretting his mistreating shrimati radhanani so krishna was feeling that these are the ways of love krishna is feeling that i mistreated her i didn't give her much attention so she became angry and she left but he is thinking that i could not please shrimati radha that's why she left and shrimati radhanani is thinking that uh, krishna cannot be happy in this environment so she left so the ways of raja is like um, krishna skaviraj goswami says that when we try to satisfy our own selfish desires it is lust but when we try to satisfy krishna's desire it is love in golok vrindavan it's compared <coughs> um a love in this material world which is lust in this material world is like iron and uh, the loving beings in the spiritual is like gold so just like iron and gold are different qualities likewise relationship in this world they become rusty um, because it's compared to iron but that is like pure gold um, supremely pure in goloka nobody has a desire to enjoy um kishas kaviraj goswami yeah when we try to satisfy our senses it is lust but when we try to satisfy krishna senses it is love now um i want to enjoy okay this is contaminated this is janasa mohayam aham mamedi i am the enjoyer krishna should enjoy so how is it that the great uh, sages even shri chaitanya mahaprabhu through hari krishna ma mantra they are trying to bring radha and krishna together in their loving affairs why because there is no desire to enjoy anything there but the only desire is to bring radha and krishna together let them be happy let them be together um and then they both will be happy so i am their servant and let me bring them together so although it's a similar dealing but it is one is pure love and one is lust based on if i am the center or if krishna is the center so krishna felt that um, um um he was regretting um, that he mistreated shrimati radha rani so madhava lord krishna began to search for her alone the banks of yamuna river when he failed to find her he entered the bushes of vrindavan and began to lament so there is a place where uh, shri krishna went and there is a imli there is a uh, imli tal imli tal uh, tree is very dear to shri krishna and um, um um because it is golden like complexion it reminds um, him of shrimati radha rani and the tamal tree tamal tree is blackish in complexion so tamal tree is radha rani's favorite because it is blackish in complexion it reminds her of shri krishna and imli tal tree reminds krishna of shrimati radha rani so he went there is a there is a imli tal tree where sri chaitanya mahaprabhu when he came 500 years back he used to sit under that tree and he used to chant his uh, hari nam japa 
So Sri Krishna went there and he began to lament um, that why did I mistreat her in the bushes in, in, in Vrindavan? And um, he started chanting the names of Radha. That's when he um, acquired golden complexion that again represents Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Now these two verses, this verse and the previous verse, these two verses are actually taken from Geet Govinda by Jaidev Goswami. Um, uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to read Geet Govinda and discuss in association of intimate associates like Ramananda Roy and Sarup Damodar Goswami <clears throat> and he would taste the rasa um, but Prabhupada also says that we should not eat so Geet Govinda is all about uh, um, um, Ras Leela and, and Radhani left and Krishna went and Krishna cried so this is this is actually a song and in, in Jagannath Puri Geet Govinda is sung every day um, um, because Jagannath loves it, Geet Govinda by Jaydev Goswami. But Prabhupada said, um, in a conditioned state, one should not read it. But here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ramanda Roy conversation, Ramanda Roy is quoting a couple of verses to glorify the position of Srimati Radharani. <coughs> Shlokera artha vichari lajani vichari te uthe yena amrite rakhani. Simply by considering these two verses, one can understand what nectar there is in such dealings. It is exactly like freeing a mine of nectar. So it is said that if we enter into this mine of nectar, then we will, it will be very because it's so much nectar um, that we will give up our desire to enjoy. Otherwise, we will start running after wealth and women and position and fame and everything else. So, <clears throat> one devotee, um, I was staying maybe like 15 days I stayed in Radha Kund. There is a Skon temple there. Um, one of Prabhupada's sannyas disciples, Sarup Damodar Goswami, Sarup, Sarup Damodar Maharaj, Sarup Damodar Goswami Maharaj, Prabhupada's disciple, sannyas disciple. Um, he built a temple on the banks of Radha Kut. His samadhi is also there. <clears throat> so they have a guest house. So I, I was staying there. So the temple president there, um, Jayade Prabhu, um, he told me that um, Shamananda, either <clears throat> you can go into the Rasa side or you can go into, or you'll be forced to go into um, name, fame, position and other side. So choice is ours. Param Dishwa Nivartate. When we start um, going into mellows, uh, into the higher taste, then only it will be possible for us to give up lower taste. Um, so, Ramananda Roy is telling that these two verses of Radha leaving and Krishna lamenting and he went in the groves of Vrindavan and then began to lament. Um, this is mine of nectar, Ramanda Roy is telling. Like, there is so much nectar. If one sees what is the nectar there? Sweetness. The sweetness of these leelas is just mine of nectar. Why? Because um, Krishna's, Krishna is absolute. So Krishna leela, uh, Krishna naam, Krishna roop, Krishna's qualities, Krishna's leelas, they are all as transcendental as Krishna. So they all carry the same divine spiritual potency. And by absorbing in them, um, one can go deeper into Krishna Tattva. Sata Koti Gopi Sange Rasa Vilas Tara Madhe Eka Murtye Rahe Radha Pas Although Krishna was in the midst of hundreds of thousands of gopis during the Rasa dance, he still kept himself in one of his transcendental form by the side of Srimati Radharani. So they form a circle and he was in between every two gopis. But yet he was single. So every two gopis shared one Krishna. But uh, he was alone with Srimati Radharani and he was at the center. So that itself 
um, glorifies the position of Sri Radhika. So there are multiple like Krishna left everybody. He was lamenting and he stand in the center. And then um, um, all these are different references Ramanda Roy is giving to prove the position of Srimati Radharani. That we need to understand. <clears throat> During the Rasa dance, one form of Krishna between every two gopis. This is in Shla Prabhupada's purport. But by the side of Srimati Radharani, there was only one Krishna. Although this was the case, Srimati Radharani still manifested disagreement with Krishna. This is from Ojwal Nilamani. This is one of the book by Rupa Goswami. Actually, Rupa Goswami wrote Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, he discussed in detail about Sakya Ras, Dasya Ras, Vasalya Ras, Madhurya Ras. But then Rupa Goswami felt that I have not given much justice to Madhurya Ras. And that's why he wrote a book just to describe Madhurya Ras. And that is Ujwal Nilamani. Krodha uh, <clears> Hari <throat> Rasa Chadi Gilamana Kari Tandrena Dekhiya Vyakula Haila Shri Hari. When Radharani left the Rasa dance out of anger and resentment, that is external reason, um, Lord Shri Krishna became very anxious because he could not see her. So he became very anxious. Samyaksada Vasana Krishnera Rasa Leela Rasa Leela Vasanate Radhika Shrinkhala. Lord Krishna's desire in the Ras Lila circle is perfectly complete. But Srimati Radharani is the binding link in that desire. <clears throat> so Srimati Radharani is the binding link. She is the one who makes this happen. If she is not there, then the whole Ras Lila will break. So again, position of Srimati Radharani. Taha Vinu Ras Lila Nahi Bhaya Chitte Mandali Chadiya Gela Radha Anveshite. The Rasa dance does not shine in the heart of Krishna without Srimati Radharani. Therefore, he also gave up the circle of the Rasa dance and went out to search for her. Actually, the whole arrangement is just to give pleasure to Krishna. But without her, there is no pleasure anywhere. So he also left. Millions of gopis could not give him a pinch of pleasure if it is without the association of Srimati Radharani. Itastatha Brahmi Kaha Radhana Pana Vishada Karena Kama Banekinahana. When Krishna went out to search for Srimati Radharani, he wandered here and there. Um, they have the same mood, same feeling of separation. He becomes mad and she becomes mad. So he wandered here and there, not finding her. He became afflicted by the arrow of Cupid and began to limit, again expressing the feelings. Satakoti gopite nahe kama nirvaparna tahate anumani shri radhikara guna Since Krishna's loving desires were not satisfied even in the midst of hundreds of thousands of gopis, and he was just searching after Srimati Radharani. We can easily imagine how transcendently qualified she is. And that nothing could please him um, um, without her. So how qualified she is. Prabhu kahe ye lagi ailama tomasthane sai sabha tattva vastu haila mora jane. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's response after hearing this, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to Ramananda Roy, that for which I have come to your residence has now become an object of truth in my knowledge. So Mahaprabhu is delishing. Mahaprabhu is delishing. And um, as Ramananda Roy is telling this and glorifying the Purusha Srimati Radharani, Mahaprabhu is telling why I came here. Um, now my purpose is served. When he spoke about so many external things, Mahaprabhu said, Ei bhaya aage kahe aar. This is all external. Go ahead, go ahead, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. But when he started hearing the glories of Srimati Radharani, he said, this is like nectar flowing from your mouth, Ramananda. And uh, just keep on speaking more and more. And as Ramananda Roy is quoting Geet Govinda and uh, um, different glorifying the position of Srimati Radharani. So Mahaprabhu is driving great satisfaction there. 
एबे सा जा नीलो साध्या साधना निर्णया आगे आरा आछे किचो सुनिते मना हाया ना आई कम टू अंडरस्टैंड द सब्लाइम गोल ऑफ लाइफ एंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ अचीविंग इट सो द सब्लाइम गोल ऑफ लाइफ इज प्रेमा एंड द हाईएस्ट प्रेमा इज माधुरियस सो चेतन है महाप्रभु इज टेलिंग नाउ आई हैव अंडरस्टैंड आई अंडरस्टैंड द सब्लाइम गोल ऑफ लाइफ नो दैट वाज द क्वेश्चन टू रामानंद रॉय व्हाट इज द गोल ऑफ लाइफ एंड आफ्टर डिस्क्राइबिंग टू 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 become a servant of shrimati radharani uh, prabhupa said uh, this hari krishna movement is uh, for everyone to become a servant of shrimati radharani that is the goal of hari krishna movement um, sir said thakur said we are first um, we are we approach prabhupa used to say we approach shri krishna through shrimati radharani so the highest tatva the highest goal of life that uh, um she chitane ma prabhu gave came to give us shri prabhupad gave gave it us very easily yes said yeah um this is um radha krishna worship krishna is supreme personality of god right and we approach krishna through shrimati radharani and that's all he gave us the highest conclusion the highest goal of life um nevertheless i think if there is something more ahead my mind is desiring to have it chitane ma prabhu said okay satisfied now i'm good but if you want to say something more i am very eager and desiring to hear more from you raya kahe iha ami kichu na jani tumi yehi kahao se kahi ami vani ramanda roy replied i do not know anything about this i simply vibrate the sound you make me speak now si chetane ma prabhu empowered different um devotees um to speak um like he empowered ramananda roy to speak ras tatva that a glimpse we discussed but there there is lot more tatva that ramananda roy spoke to our chitra charitamrita then she then chitane ma prabhu made haridas thakur speak nam tatva so hari nam chintamani is actually the conversation between she chitane ma prabhu and haridas thakur chitane ma prabhu is asking questions and haridas thakur is glorifying the importance of chanting naam tatva that's why he made him namacharya haridas thakur so um shri jane ma prabhu made rupa goswami also um abhidaya abhidaya tatva like how to attain perfection how to progress in krishna consciousness vidhi marg and rag marg and bhava bhakti and prema bhakti and different stages and what sadhana for what stage everything is in bhakti rasamrita sindhu so he made rupa goswami speak that so chetanya mahaprabhu himself did not speak anything other than the eight verses of shiksha ashtakam but he empowered his devotees to speak on different subject matters and that's how the whole krishna consciousness philosophy came to us so mahaprabhu that's what krishna does although he does everything he chitane mahaprabhu out of his love for his devotees he glorified his devotees he made his devotees give the entire philosophy and he is just one of the recipient so that is so ramananda roy knows this haridas thakur knows this when when chitane mahaprabhu told haridas thakur when haridas thakur his disappearance day is coming when haridas thakur said uh, um my lord i have a feeling that you are soon going to end your earthly pastimes and i won't be able to witness that i won't be able to i i just cannot take it so i have only one desire from you let me leave my body before you end your earthly pastimes so chi chitane mahaprabhu told haridas thakur haridas you are the only source of my pleasure um and then haridas thakur replied my lord why are you creating an illusion there are billions and billions and unlimited devotees who are way way closer than i am i am simply an insignificant ant in front of them and you are telling me that your only pleasure is my association my lord please don't create that illusion for me so shri chitane mahaprabhu now this is and uh, this is so the devotees of lord chaitanya they because they are pure devotees they are never they never take credit they never think that we are the doers 
और दे ऑलवेज दे बिकॉज दे आर प्योर डिवोटीज दे सी कृष्णा हैंड्स देयर बट अ कंडीशन सोल बिकम प्राउड लिटिल सक्सेस कम्स एंड अ कंडीशन सोल बिकम्स प्राउड एंड द द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्राइड इज अगेन फॉल डाउन सो हियर रामानंद रॉय रामानंद रॉय इज टेलिंग माई लॉर्ड वट आर यू वट आर यू सेंग ई से नाउ आई हैव कम टू हियर ट्रूथ um about the goal of life and i am very satisfied ramanand roy said iha ami kichu na jane i don't know anything my dear lord so very realized statements i simply vibrate the sound you make me speak actually krishna is the one who is making haridas thakur rupa goswami um and ramanand roy and all different associates speak on krishna consciousness the principle of krishna consciousness shri prabhupad used to say Uh, and same krishna's kaviraj goswami what a coincidence prabhupad used to say these are not my books krishna wrote them krishna is dictating me and uh, um i am writing so prabhupad used to take pleasure in reading his own books because he said krishna wrote them and then same we see with the um, um krishna's kaviraj goswami he said you know i am lame and ill advice mama manda mater gati mat sarvasa padam bojo radha madan mohan ho radha madan mohan is actually holding my hand i am dumb um, um my hand shake and uh, completely devoid but they are holding my hand and they are making they are forcing me to write so um, um although i am lower than a worm in a stool this book will grant you perfection because this is spoken by shri krishna himself so take advantage of this book but i desired the dust of all your lotus feet because i am more fallen than all of you all my readers this is krishna's kaviraj goswami same is the consciousness so this is pure devotees they never take credits they always give credit to um, uh, shri krishna so ramanand roy said you know i simply vibrate the sound you make me speak i don't know anything um तुम्हारा शिक्षा या यदि ये न शुक्ता पाथा साक्षात ईश्वरा तुम्हें के भुजे तो मारा नाता एंड ही से साक्षात ईश्वर है तुम्हें रामानंद रॉय इज अगेन टेलिंग यू आर सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड इज आई सिंपली रिपीट लाइक अ पैरेट शुका शुका पाठा यू नो पैरेट डजन नो एनी थिंग यू टेल पैरेट से हरे कृष्णा भाई हरे कृष्णा हाँ हरे कृष्णा गेन बोलो हरे कृष्णा गेन बोलो so parrot just repeat so ramanand this ramanand roy is consciousness he said i simply repeat like a parrot whatever instruction you have given me you are sakshat ishwara to me you are the supreme personality of god it himself who can understand your dramatic performances ke bujhe tumhara nata who can understand you so <clears throat> self realization ramanand roy is and deep realization hridaya prerana kara jiva ya ka hovani ika hiya bhala manda ki chuna jani you inspire me within the heart and make me speak with the tongue i do not know whether i am speaking well or badly so again krishna is the doer krishna is speaking through us lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and then lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is in a mood of a devotee so he is telling i am a mayavadi in a renounced order of life now is he a mayavadi <laughs> he converted mayavadis into pure devotees service like sarvam bhattacharya and prakash and the saraswati but he is telling i am a mayavadi why because he is he is just remembering one thing that i took sanyas from a mayava sanyasi although he was he was first initiated by shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in hari krishna mahamantra but he is just remembering that i took sanyas from mayava sanyasi so that's why i am a mayavadi likewise we see rupa goswami they are born in brahmana family just one second let me turn on the light it was again came to my eyes to look at the screen um just like we see rupa goswami and uh, rupa goswami is born in brahman saraswat family and they worked for a muslim ruler so they are they are thinking that you know we are yavanas so um um a devotee he sees one fault and then he sees what is the use of my life and then he sees one good quality in others and he glorifies and that's how a devotee trains himself to see everybody else is better than me 
but a conditioned soul he sees little good in himself and he glorifies and he thinks i am a great soul and then others are great devotees and he sees one small fault in others and he think you know this this devotee is useless and that devotee is also useless so all devotees are useless and i am best among all the devotees i am better than all the devotees that's a sign that we are under the mode of um, the three modes of material nature so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is uh, just remembering this one instance that i am a mayavadi in a renounced order of life and i do not know uh, i do not even know what transcendent loving service to the lord is i don't know he is teaching everyone he is giving pure devotional service to anybody he embraces anybody he touches anybody he glances he asks somebody chant hari hari and they get pure devotional service and he is telling i don't know what is devotional service i am only mayavad sanyasi due to association sarva bhavata chare my mind my, my mind became enlightened now this is inconceivable i mean sarva bhavata chare gave all the rubbish philosophy on vedanta sutra and uh, mahaprabhu gave uh, mahaprabhu transform sarva bhavata chare into a into a vaishnava and he is telling but whatever i am is due to association sarva bhavata chare my mind became enlightened by his mercy my mind is enlightened although he spoke all rubbish philosophy therefore i asked him about the truth of transcendent loving service to krishna sarvam bhattacharya told me that i do not actually know the topics of lord krishna um, they are all known only to ramananda roy but he is not present here lord chaitanya mahaprabhu continued after hearing about your glories i have come to your place but you are offering me words of play, praise out of respect for a sanyasi one in the nouns order of life so here is a summary um uh, ramananda roy said um you are sakshat ishwar to me you are making me speak um and sri chaitanya mahaprabhu said i am i am a sanyasi um and i do not know anything about loving service to the lord um uh gave me wonderful instructions about the lord so that's what i don't know anything about loving service of the lord so sarva bhattacharya told me sarva bhattacharya told me that ramananda roy knows about rasa tatva so that's why i have come on the order of sarva bhattacharya and i am very enlightened to hear you um and um and on the other hand you are glorifying me so in this way there is a now uh, there is a contention between who is great um a devotee is always willing to take a humble position and say that you know i have no good qualities Um, in that way and then um ramananda mahaprabhu said ramananda why you are giving me respect you are giving me respect because of my cloth the color of my cloth that's why giving me respect otherwise um, um i don't know anything about the transcendent loving service of the lord so that is out of natural humility of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu by his personal example prabhupada writes in in the series of this conversation between ramananda chaitanya mahaprabhu Uh, by his personal example sri chaitanya mahaprabhu explains how one should be submissive and humble before a vaishnava even though one may be situated on a high platform like uh, ramananda roy sri chaitanya mahaprabhu is a sanyasi okay he is supreme personality of god right but externally he is a sanyasi so prabhupada is telling chaitanya mahaprabhu is teaching to a common world even though one may be situated on a high platform sanyasi is the highest level high platform one should be submissive and humble before a vaishnava there is no scope of pride such is the teaching of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu as the acharya of the world the supreme spiritual master and teacher kiba vipra kiba nyasi sutra ke nenaya yei krishna tatva veta sai guru haya kiba vipra vipra means brahmana and uh, nyasi is referring to sanyasi कीबा विप्रा कीबा न्यासी सुद्रा केने नाया और अशुद्रा सो वेदर वन इज अ ब्राह्मण सन्यासी और अशुद्रा ये कृष्ण तत्व वेता से ही गुरु हाया हुएवर नोस कृष्ण तत्व ही इज अ गुरु इट्स नॉट दैट वन इज अ सन्यासी सो ही इज इन अ हायर पोजीशन वन इज अ ब्राह्मण सो ही इज इन अ हायर पोजीशन और वन इज अ शूद्रा सो ही इज इन अ लोअर पोजीशन 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us that that's not how you consider who is higher and who is lower. In fact, when Ramananda Roy said one ashram to follow, Mahaprabhu said this is external, go deeper. So here Mahaprabhu is telling whether one is a Brahmana, a Sanyasi or a Shudra, it doesn't matter. Whoever knows Krishna Tattva, he is a Guru. He is a Guru. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is implying to Ramananda Roy that I am a Sanyasi, you are a Grihastha, but because you know Krishna Tattva, you know about Krishna, uh, you are my Guru. So that's the intention. So this is where Shri Prabhupada also used to say when Shri Prabhupada gave sannyas, and he also instructed that after I leave the body, you can accept disciples. And they were born in Western world, America. There is no caste system. So all, you know, um, not considered high born. And Shri Prabhupada gave them permission to take sannyas, do worship the deities and accept disciples. So many people in India criticized. So Prabhupada used to quote this verse. He says, say, Kiba Vipra Kiba Nyasi Sudra Kedina. It doesn't matter who you are. Anybody who knows Krishna Tattva is fit to become a guru. And that's why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave everyone an instruction that, um, 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 that if you have taken birth in India and if you know the signs of Krishna, then you take the position of a guru. You become a guru. That is my order. Um, uh, Amara Agya Guna uh, Guru Hoy Tara Aidesh. Yes, you become a guru. This verse is very important to the Krishna consciousness movement. In his Amrita Prabhaha Bhasya, Shla Bhakti Vinod Thakur explains that one should not think that because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born a Brahmana, now he was from a Brahmana family externally. He was born a Brahmana and was situated in the topmost spiritual order as a sannyasi. It was improper for him to receive instruction from from Srila Ramananda Roy, who belonged to a Shudra caste. Ramananda Roy was, was from a Shudra caste and a Grihastha. Haridas Thakur was from a Yavana caste, like externally. But Mahaprabhu heard Nam Tattva from Haridas Thakur. He heard Rasa Tattva from Ramananda Roy. So, who is a guru? One who knows Krishna Tattva. Yei Krishna Tattva Veta. Say Guru Hai. Doesn't matter what is our externals. Sanyasi Baliya More Nakari Havachana Krishna Radha Tattva Kahi Purnaka Ramana Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu considered, please do not try to cheat me. Thinking of me as a learned Sanyasi. Please satisfy my mind by just describing the truth of Radha and Krishna. Now, this is how Vaishnavas cheat us when they see pride in us. For example, if you are very, you know, if you are practicing Krishna consciousness for 20 years, you are um, Brahman initiated and um, you are well known all over the world, suppose. And then we become proud. And then we go to somebody and um, they will sense pride in us. So when, when, when a Vaishnava sends pride in others because of externals, then Vaishnava will not speak or give um, um, qualified instructions because he thinks that this person does not want it. So that's how a Vaishnava cheat. Now, these are, this is transcendental cheating. If a pride person goes to a Vaishnava and he says, I know this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this, then the Vaishnava thinks, all right, all right, very good. And then the Vaishnava says, you are a great soul, Prabhu. You are amazing. Um, I am so blessed. Please give me your mercy. And the Vaishnava will let the person go. So this is called the person, he was glorified by Vaishnava. The person was actually cheated by the Vaishnava because the Vaishnava did not give him confidential instructions on how to worship Radha and Krishna. Only one in a humble state, submissive, <clears throat> eager to hear, Vaishnavas will speak only to those people about how to confidentially worship Radha and Krishna, not to those who are proud. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, because I am a sannyasi, I am a brahmana, please do not cheat me by just glorifying me. But tell me about Radha Krishna worship. Tell me about how to go deep in sadhana. So 
um, this is very important. This is this is mentioned by Radha Govind Maharaj in one of his lecture. He describes how there is kapata in Vaishnav, cheating propensity in Vaishnav, um, that they don't give confidential instruction to those who have pride in their heart because they are coming not to receive instruction. They think, why should I listen to this person? Why? Then okay, then you are cheated by the Vaishnav. You just get the glorification and it doesn't help you. It just increases your own false pride. So if one approaches a transcendental devotee on the sense of one's material heritage, opulence, education, beauty, and does not offer respect to the advanced devotee of the Lord, the Vaishnav devotee may offer formal respects to such a materially puffed up person, but he may not deliver transcendental knowledge to him. Transcendental knowledge, to receive transcendental knowledge, one has to be in a in a humble state of mind, pari prashnina sevaya. When same very commonly uh, we hear, um, Krishna did not give transcendental knowledge to Arjuna because Arjuna was in mood of arguments. But when uh, pari prashnina sevaya, when there is humble inquiry, submissiveness, service attitude, then Krishna spoke that okay, you become my devotee. But how can Krishna say you become my devotee when the other person is not willing to listen? How can Krishna say? Then Krishna said, you know, I am the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But the other person should be submissive, should be willing to hear. Then only when Krishna speaks, otherwise, you know, um, it's like uh, for um, for a common man, it's like one of the offenses to the holy name to instruct a faithless person about the glories of the Lord. So one has to always take a humble position in order to and take confidential instruction to go deeper in Radha Krishna worship. Otherwise, we will just be glorified and the Vaishnavas will keep us away and uh, we will not be able to progress. Um, Raya kahe aminata tumi shutra dhara e mata na chao taiche chahi na chibara. Shri Ramananda Roy said, I am just a dancing puppet and you pull the strings. Whatever way you make me dance, I will dance. So this is a beautiful conscious Ramananda Roy. Mahaprabhu is, is taking a humble position, Ramananda, and there is a transcendental competition. Like, okay, who is qualified? You are Supreme Ishwar, but he is taking a humble position. Ramananda Roy said, you know, Nachao, Nachao, Prabhupada, you say, Nachao, 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 Re Mate, is, you know, make me dance, my Lord, make me dance. You have brought me to this place um, where the activities are not very conducive and the people are very dull. How will I? How will the message that I'm bringing, the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, deep, deep confidential pastimes of Radha Krishna, um, how will I make these people understand the message that I'm bringing, the message of Sriman Bhagavatam, pure devotional service? How will these people understand? So Prabhupada said, you know, if you have brought me here, you must have some purpose. Otherwise, and you have given me the name Bhakti Vedanta. You have given me that there must be some purpose. So make me dance, my Lord. Please make my words understandable to these people. Probably empowered. Even a person who doesn't know anything about Krishna consciousness, when he reaches the Prabhupada book, he's convinced to worship Krishna. And when one starts worship Krishna, chanting the holy name of Krishna, he will naturally understand deeper tattva automatically. Deva Grand Hide Prakashito. Paramatma will guide that devotee to go deeper and deeper. Bhajala Prabhupada um, approached to every person and gave him everything through the medium of this um, 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 understanding of uh, um, Jiva, Krishna and the Naam. Through that Tattva Prabhupada make them understand at their level to progress. Parama Ishwara Krishna Swayam Bhagavan Sarva Avatari Sarva Karana Pradhan Ramananda Roy then began to speak on Krishna Tattva. So he spoke on um, the Tattva of Srimati Radharani, the position of Srimati Radharani, how she is one who can perfectly, who perfectly worship Sri Krishna. The word Aradhana comes from the word Radha. Aradhana means how to worship Krishna. And Aparadha is what displeases Radharani. Aparadha means against Radha. 
because everybody is a devotee of Radharani. All the devotees in Iskon are devotees of Radharani. And when the devotees are offended by any means that displeases Srimati Radharani, and then Aparad happens. And when Srimati Radharani is displeased, then we lose everything, at least temporarily, till the devotee again bestows his blessing upon us. So Ramandara then began to speak on Krishna Tattva. Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead. So I am Bhagavan. He said, He is personally the original Godhead, the source of all incarnation and the cause of all causes. Uh, Sarva Avatari, He is the source of all the Avatar. Sarva Karana Pradhan, and He is the source of everything. Um, um, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets as well as innumerable incarnations. In the material world also there are innumerable universes. And Krishna is the supreme resting place for all of them. Everything, Vaikuntha planets, everything comes from Sri Krishna. The transcendental body of Sri Krishna is eternal and full of bliss and knowledge. He is the son of Nanda Baba, Nanda Maharaj, Nanda Sutta. He is full of all opulences and potencies as well as all spiritual mellows. <clears throat> Vrindavane apakrita navinamadana kama gayatri kama bije yanra upasana. In the spiritual realm of Vrindavan, Krishna is the spiritual ever fresh cupid. He is worshipped by the chanting of kama gayatri mantra with the spiritual bij, uh, seed, bij mantra. Now, this is the this will be our last slide for today just uh, something to say on this vrinda bane aprakrit ap 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 aprakrita navina madana kama gayatri kama bije yanara upasana so krishna is supreme personality of godhead he lives in vrindavan um, um how upasana Upasana means worship. How to worship Krishna? How is Krishna worshipped? Kam Gayatri, Kam Bije, Yanra Upasana. By the method of Kam Gayatri and by the method of Kam Bij. Kam Bij. He is worshipped. Now, Kama, Kama means Cupid. Cupid. Or, or, I mean, pure love. Pure love here. So, um by by kam gayatri and kam beach krishna is krishna in vrindavan is worshipped krishna in vrindavan is worshipped so um um when we get brahman diksha one of one of the mantra we get is brahma gayatri which is the gayatri mantra that we all know then there is guru gayatri there is Gaura Gayatri, which is Mahaprabhu's Gaur Gayatri. Guru Gayatri is Guru Dev's. Two mantra on Guru Gayatri, two mantra on Gaur Gayatri. And then there is Kam Gayatri. Um, and through Kam Gayatri, Krishna in Vrindavan is worshipped. So this is something. And um, yeah. everything in the material world is dull, but in spiritual world, everything is alive. The desire for enjoyment is present both in Krishna and in his parts and parcels, the living entities. In the spiritual world, such desires are also spiritual. Um, um, when in spiritual world, Gopas or Gopis or Vasali Rasmada Yashoda, um, when they desire to enjoy, it's actually by giving pleasure to Krishna. It's all spiritual by nature. Uh, um, in a material world, if one is sexually inclined and enjoys sex life, he enjoys something temporary. Prabhupada says sex life is you know, sought after by a conditioned soul. So um, in the material world, if one is sexually inclined or enjoys sex life, he enjoys something temporary. His enjoyment vanishes after a few minutes. So there is some pleasure, but it's very temporary, very, very short-lived. Um, and then there is no more pleasure there. However, in the spiritual world, the same enjoyment may be there, but it never vanishes. So there is some pleasure here, but it is very temporary. But in Golok Vrindavan, 
millions of times more. Prabhupada in a very humble mood, he says, same pleasure is there. But it's like way intense, but it doesn't get over in a few minutes. It, it, it stays there. Prabhupada says like, you know, just like the pleasure one feels uh, through this sex desire and in a very high state of sex life. Prabhupada says millions of times more and continuous. That is what you feel there. Always high kind of, you know, devotees used to write a, a pamphlet and they would say chant Hare Krishna and stay high forever. So um, that state is there, very, very high state. But in material world, it just vanishes in a few minutes. Um, in spiritual world, the same enjoyment may be there, but it never vanishes. It is continuously enjoyed through Vipralamba and through Sambhog. But either ways, through Vipralamba also there is continuous pleasure. Um, so there is continuous and it is continuously enjoyed. In the spiritual world, such sex pleasure appears to the enjoyer to be more and more relishable with each new feature. So there is continuous pleasure and it continuously keeps on increasing uh, through newer and newer feature. Uh, in the material world, however, sex enjoyment becomes distasteful after a few minutes only and it is never permanent. So an intelligent person knows that, okay, material world is going to bind me. And um, um, one who enjoys material happiness in this material world, a um, lot of things will happen. One thing is uh, our desire for bhakti will go down. Krishna says um, determination for devotional service will not take place in the heart of a person who is trying to enjoy sex life or any materialistic pleasure, the determination for devotional service will not happen. It will it will be weakened. Just like this, we are growing the fire of bhakti by going deep in Krishna Tattva and then putting water into it through sense gratification. So it will um, weaken our um, fire of devotion. Then we will be like lukewarm devotee. We won't be like fiery devotee. And then if we engage in any sense gratification in this material world, the propensity to engage in those kind of sense gratification also increases. The more we engage in sense gratification, the more our proclivity, inclination to engage in sense gratification increases. And that's a way to um, go down in our spiritual life. Um, um, but if you go into um, Param Drishtva Nivartate, um, then we can keep going deeper and deeper in our Krishna consciousness. Okay, so that's all we will discuss today. Are there any discussions? Any questions that someone would like to ask? Okay. All right. So we will end for now. My obeisances to all of you. One chakal patalu besha kripa sindu be eva cha patita nam pavani be vaishnu be namonam ham ananta koti vaishnu be endaki jashila prabhupati. Happy Radhashtami. It's most important festival for Gaudiya Vaishnavas. It's on Monday. We fast till noon and uh, she is most merciful. Then we are done. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Dana Pana. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.